I YouTube, I gotta run now, I gotta make a couple errands, but I was gonna throw these on and I forgot to show y'all that I had caught the Feebas, the Feeba joints, all right? The Feeba 4s. Everybody went crazy last week with the other pair, but they slept on these. A lot of people saying they sitting, they, they, they bricks in certain towns. That's cool, cheaper, and easier to get for me. No lines, no weights. The Feebas, the Feeba 4s, all right? Put this down. Feeble fours, you got the detail embedded in there. You got it in here too, and up under the laces. You know what I'm saying? Real good detail. With the gold Olympic Jordan sign on the back. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. But I just wanted to show y'all these before I wore them for the first time, because I'm gonna make a couple runs. I'm gonna put these on. But the FIBA 4s definitely was a must cop for me. If you didn't get them, oh well, I wanted them, I got them, it's my money, and I'm grown. video I already showed y'all what I put on my feet this morning but now I'm gonna talk about these Diane brushes right here we got a 8119 the issue with these brushes that I have right now they ain't nothing more than a collector's item but I see people out here really getting a head bust to get these brushes all right now don't get me wrong this is a great brush great brush at the time when they was releasing them in the stores or whatever for $3.99, $5.99 or whatever, it was a great cop. It was the best brush on the market. And Diane kind of messed us over, you know what I'm saying? And started putting out cheaper quality brushes, okay? Cheaper quality uh, wood, bristles, everything. They just gave us whatever they wanted to so they could save the cost and make more money. Okay, that's what Diane did to us. Cool. Now you have years later, People are going crazy for the clubs, the long handles, you know what I'm saying? If you still have them from back then, yeah, you get them. They're a collector's item because you can't really find them. But people are still selling these brushes brand new and used, and they are charging the arm and the leg for these brushes. I've seen this brush on eBay for $150. It's a brush. But who am I to say what you need to spend your money on? If you if it's a collector's item and you really want it, go ahead and get it. But if y'all out here chasing these brushes thinking that they're going to give you waves because it's such a great brush, you're wrong. Brush King has gave us Torinos and royalties in place of these Dianes. Brushes that are way better than this. So my advice to you, if you can come across one of these, if you really want to collect it, don't pay over $50. It gotta be brand new in the box or the bag or whatever it comes in. $50, I'ma say that's the max that you should pay for it if you're trying to collect it. $50, ain't no 75, ain't no 100, 150. That's too much. I've seen people trying to sell used 8119s for $50. With, it looked like a dog chewed on it, you know, missing pieces out the wood for $50, man. People crazy out here, man. But. Don't get it twisted. This is a good brush, you know what I'm saying? Every so often, I do brush my hair with this, you know what I'm saying, very rarely, but I mean, I'm gonna brush with it real quick. I, I, I never try to brush with dry hair, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna throw a little bit of moisturizer in it. Right now, I got the Tracy Loren Naturals uh, Wave and Curl Butter. That's all I need, a little bit of this. You know what I'm saying, you don't wanna brush dry hair you want to try not to brush dry hair because it can damage the hair you know what I'm saying but let me throw some of this in real quick just so I can brush a little bit now this brush this is a true medium alright I know for a fact that I have at least on a long handle side at least five or six brushes that are better than this from the Royalty and Torino brand combined. I know for a fact, I got better brushes than this and I got brushes that are very much comparable to it. So there's really no sense 
and trying to chase this brush, man, unless you really got extra money for it or you really are just a collector. You know what I'm saying? You want to collect it. A lot of us, you see how many brushes I got. I like collecting brushes. You know what I'm saying? I like collecting Jordans or whatever the case may be. Everybody has an addiction. It could be worse. You could be out here spending money on worse things in these streets. You know what I'm saying? We buy brushes, we buy shoes, clothes, whatever. At the end of the day, make sure your family's straight. Make sure your kids got what they need. And if you want to spend $50 on a Diane brush, hey, more power to you. But it's a great brush. I ain't gonna lie. No cap, it's a great brush, but it is definitely not necessary. It's not necessary for you to be searching for these brushes and paying over $50, $100, $200, bidding wars on eBay. It's not necessary. So I just wanted to check in with y'all real quick because I've been seeing this on uh, Twitter, Facebook, you know, eBay, Amazon, whatever, these brushes. And another thing, be careful if you order this brush. People are using the pictures of the OG and they sending you a new generation Diane. So be careful who you send your money to. A lot of people ask, how, how can you tell? You can tell that it's an OG by the cursive writing. The cursive writing of Diane should be toward the end of the brush, okay? Not over here. If it's over here, that's a new generation one. Yeah, that's a good brush, but it definitely ain't worth the money if you're looking for this one. So make sure that the cursive writing is toward the end. And that goes for all the brushes, the clubs, the long handles, the uh, the palms, etc. So just want to check in with y'all real quick, man, and make sure y'all not sending y'all self off by chasing this brush.